Hi there, this is Hackrich. So in this video, we are going to discuss what is SMB services and how to enumerate the SMB services and what are the tools we could use to gather the information about the services. So let's get started. So SMB protocol is a file sharing protocol. It enables applications and their user to access the file on remote server as well as connect to other resources, for example, printer. And SMB default port is 445. So we can use an Nmap to find out whether a particular server enables SMB service or not. Uh, Nmap is a tool, uh, usually every pen tester used to find out what are the services enabled on a particular server. And it comes with many features like uh, OS detection, services version detection, and vulnerability scanning and all. So let's use a Nmap to find out whether our server enables SMB service or not. So sudo Nmap minus P445, it is specifying the port number, and this is the IP address of my server. Hit enter. And if you look at the result, the state is open. That means uh, SMB services is enabled on this server. So let's check what are the shares present on this SMB service. For that, you can use SMB client. So here, uh, hyphen L is to list out what are the shares present on this server. And if you have a credential, let's say you are doing the pen testing and you found a credential on a website or FTP service, try to check on every services because user attempt to reuse the password. So if you have a credential, you can specify that uh, minus U to specify the username, let's say Hackwitch, and hit enter to give the password for Hackwitch. So right now I don't have any credential. So let's check for null session. Just hit enter and without giving the password, just hit enter. So if you look at here, anonymous login is successful. That means we have a null session. And these are the shares present on the SMB service. A print, temp, opt, ipc and admin. So let's check what are the permission this anonymous user has on this each share. For that you can use SMB map hyphen h and 10.0.255. So if you are checking for other user you can specify the username by saying hyphen u and name of the user. But here we are checking for the anonymous user. Just hit enter. And you can see that for anonymous user, he has no access to print, opt, ipc and admin. But he has an access to tab, he has a read access as well as write access. So let's connect to that share. For that we can use smb client only. smb client and forward slash ip address of the server and name of the field. Hit enter. Hit enter. So you can see that anonymous login successful. So let's list out what are the files present on this temp shade by saying ls. So these are the files present on the temp shade and you can download that files uh, to your local machine by saying get and the name of the file. And now you can see it in your local machine ls myself. So now you have that file on your local machine. Now you can analyze that file locally and you can download every file present on the particular share because it's by using SMB get tool. So let's use that tool ls minus a. So there is nothing present on this directory. Let's use SMB get. So SMB get hyphen r and server IP address and name of the share and hit enter hit enter without giving any password because here we are trying for anonymous session right so now it will download all the file which anonymous user has an access so you can see here some of the directory is downloaded by this tool and now you can analyze every file present on this directory you can check whether we can get some uh, useful information from that files
So coming to Nmap, as I said, Nmap is not only used for what are the services enabled on the particular server. It is also used for service version detection and OS detection and vulnerability scanning and all. So let's use Nmap, sudo Nmap hyphen sv to find out the version of the services hyphen fp to run some vulnerability script present on the nmap hyphen o to find out the operating system hyphen p to specify the port and then ip address of the server so it will take some time to run the script and to find out the version and all so if you go through the result, uh, if you look at here, it is Samba. So actually Samba is used for Linux, SMB is used for Windows. And this is the version of Samba. So in pen testing, finding the version information is very, very helpful because if server is running the outdated version, we can find out is there any vulnerability present for that outdated version. If there is a vulnerability, we can exploit it easily, right? So this is the version and if you look at the script result it find out uh, what is the net bias name it is metasploit and it detect the os which is unix and this is the version of the samba right okay so let's check is there any vulnerability present for this samba version using search exploit search exploit is a command line searching tool for exploit db it is pre-installed in kali linux and hit enter and if you look at here uh, this version of samba is vulnerable to command execution and this script is present in metasploit so let's load the metasploit so metasploit is a framework which comes up with a bunch of exploit and other modules uh, which is written in ruby and let's search for that exploit search and you can see here a uh, rank is excellent and it is samba command execution and let's use this script you can say use zero or you can say use name of the script so now we are in that script and let's check what are the option we need to set before running that script show option and here we need to set the r host and r port and l host and l port is already set let's set the r host set r host uh, ip address of the server to find for so let's run the exploit And you can see here command shell session one open. That means we got the shell. So let's check who am I. So we got the root access. So that is why it is very helpful to know the version information if possible. Sometimes host will not disclose the version information. But if we know the version information, then we can just check is there any vulnerability present for that version. And if there is a vulnerability, we can just exploit it easily. So these are all the tools we could use to enumerate the SMB service and there are many tools like uh, NM for Linux, RPC Client and Trackmap Exec. You can research on that tool and you can use whatever the tool which is handy for you. That is all for this video. Until then, stay tuned, like the video and subscribe the channel.